Is this real? Is this real life? This is beautiful, man. Oh my God, the black rock is amazing. Ooh, there's a bit of donkey poo. I almost killed myself along the way. All right guys, so I'm in here at the moment. First impressions are that it seems a bit more quiet here, but I've stopped off at a cafe for a second just to charge my phone. It's really nice that it's not very packed at the moment, so you can really enjoy the streets and stuff. describe the ocean is that of a blanket of navy silk spread across the earth that is just so unbelievably stunning and it's so beautiful to see the boats gliding through the ocean it is hot and when I say hot it is boiling boiling hot and I actually passed by a waiter who I met yesterday who was having coffee with his friends in this area I met him in Thera but he was here and he was saying, wow, my gosh, you're crazy. It's so hot right now. He's like, go to the beach. I've been recommended to go to Berivolo's beach about four times now. <laughs> Maybe I should go, it might be a sign. But I need to pee so badly, by the way. Allow nature to give you answers. And I've said this so many times, like one of the best things about traveling is being able to just be with nature. And when you just sit there and allow yourself to just be present in the nature oftentimes so many answers to your questions in life come to you and so i really try to do that to be honest I, I'm like feeling like I don't want to talk too loud because I feel like I'm gonna wake someone up or something I would imagine that in Santorini usually it's quite loud and there's people all over the place you do see some tourists that are dotted around most of them seem to be European I feel like we're kind of the lucky group of people who have been able to come and see this place before it becomes super busy again people are far more open to talking to each other and helping each other out because we're the very few that are able to come and see it right now. I've seen a few little houses around that are, or like accommodation, that have a pool looking out to this view. I'm just like, oh my gosh, so lucky. It looks amazing. You see behind me, like here, it kind of looks like snow on a mountain. And these are the buildings that are just like kind of been built on top of this massive rock. In other islands, like, you'll only have white buildings. Here you have all sorts of color. You have like this, these orangey colors with blue, you have white. So that, that definitely makes it unique as well. I have to say, like, 
sometimes I get these Mexico vibes, like look at this, orange building. I don't know, it makes me feel very Mexico. Probably the restaurants that are probably mo more sought after, more busy, harder to get reservations, they're all available now. Even though it's nice because Santorini, Santorini is different to Eos, like with Eos, places were empty like all day and all night they were em like not one person would be in there here like when you go to a restaurant it's like it's like jet it's like not busy but not empty it's like few a family here a couple there like dotted around and i overheard a waitress say like business is picking up so i really think that by august honestly unless there's like a crazy second wave and we all have to go home I really do think things will be back to normal. The one thing I feel is I haven't developed a connection with the place. And you might, you must think I'm crazy for saying that because the views are absolutely beautiful. But I just think in terms of energy, like I connected with Eos in a certain way. I connected with Barros in a certain way. And I think maybe it's because this place is very tailored to couples, right? And I just think maybe I'm not in a stage of my life where that kind of thing I connect with. I just came into this restaurant with an amazing view and it's amazing. I don't like how everything's anglicized here or like westernized for tourists. You feel like the area's been stripped a little bit of its authenticity. I just went into this restaurant and it was beautiful views. And what would I want to hear against the beautiful Greek island backdrop i would like to hear greek music but we don't hear greek music we hear frank sinatra and l is for the way you look at me like i appreciate that that's like a romantic thing but i feel like it doesn't really suit to the backdrop of santorini or of a greek island like i would feel way more inspired if i heard Greek music against the backdrop like that because it feels kind of phony. No, I want to hear Greek music. I just feel real couple vibes here, massively. I feel like I resent this place because I'm not in love. <laughs> I have to be honest and I have to say that like, I don't know, like when I was walking in the streets of Eos and then I find this like little square with someone playing music and everyone just sitting around relax like I'm still looking for that feel like that really Greek authentic feel but I can't seem to find it yet I'm gonna head to Armudi Bay I've been told that there are steps that go all the way down and walking back up is quite the trek. We are aiming for that bay. See those steps? I'm gonna have to walk all the way back up after this. But you know what? Nothing <laughs> beats EOS in terms of walking uphill. Nothing. formation so like red i wonder what that's from oh that's a bit of donkey poo is that donkey poo i think so oh so donkeys have been down here that's cool donkeys have a lot of stamina they must do if they're walking up a hill if i pee here everyone there is gonna see me do you know what screw it i'm just gonna do it yolo right let's do it <laughs> oh my god i actually did it <laughs> I almost killed myself along the way. I climbed over this fence. Ow, my foot. Such a rebel. Oh my god, this is actually so steep. This is going to be way worse than Eos. Oh no. I was like, Psh, 
Eos nothing. I laugh in the face of Eos Hills. There are donkeys. Oh my god, they're so cute. Are they donkeys or are they? They might not be. Maybe they're ponies. Oh my god. It's actually so weird. Like I have to walk past them now. Wait, look. It's you look after them. The the gasu in there. The guy who organizes the donkey rides. He's like standing on top of a church. <laughs> and just like against the church, just whistling. And I was like, what are you doing up there? He's like, where else am I gonna be? Um, I don't know, maybe not on the top of a church. I just got into the bay. There's a little trail now that takes me to a beach apparently where people jump in. Oh my god, the black rock is amazing. It's super unique to Santorini. We didn't have this in the other islands. The other islands were like these glittery rocks, but for this, like I I'm I'm pretty sure this is vol volcanic rock, which is so cool. So all this black black stuff is from erupted volcanoes. Can you believe that? I mean check it out. That is so cool and and the ground is all like rubbly and gritty this is the kind of stuff i like let's go Wow, 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 the natural beauty is unreal. I can't believe this black rock from volcanoes. Like, look, this is all black volcano rock. Amazing or what? Wow, and the ocean, oh, that clear water. I'm so tempted to just jump in. I just saw some tourists who came out further, so apparently we're gonna be seeing a beautiful view of the place where people actually jump into the water. But they told me there's jellyfish, so they wouldn't recommend going in, but they said there's a beautiful view, so let's see. Let's check out this rock. Oh my god, I mean, it's really, really, is this real? Is this real life? This is beautiful, man. I mean, dude, it's like a volcano erupted and this big lava just like went in one place and now that rock exists. Oh, I see where everyone is jumping in. Okay, okay. Oh my god, I'm literally walking on tightrope right now. Oh my god, I'm gonna fall. I literally have to walk across this thin concrete to get over there. My selfie stick just broke, hallelujah. Another piece of equipment that has broken on me on this trip. But we aren't going to let it get us down. You know why? Because we are looking at this beautiful piece of rock formation. Santorini has been sold to me. I've learned that on my travels, like, it's not the architecture that usually gets me. Even though the architecture is beautiful, 
nature is what gets me right here right here you will never have seen anything like it yeah it's just nice to come down here and freshen up man it's paradise and do you know what's so funny in the distance like do you see those white peaks it literally looks like white peaks of snow but it's not they're little white buildings that have been built on top of the rock formation isn't that cool and isn't that unique and how many places would you come to where you have this black stone from volcanic rock it's just amazing at this point i have to say that santorini has gotten me in the heart for its nature not so much for its tourism atmosphere i'm not a huge fan of the whole phony tourist thing but for this i mean i i cannot believe where i am and i cannot believe what's behind me look at that am i really here is this a dream 